So now let's go to the second welder disassembly eBay one. So here we have only four screws and all the electronics go out. So again expecting to see a lithium polymer battery of 5 amps with 20C out and other than this very simple PCB with controller and a few high current MOSFET connected in parallel in order to enable the current out so let's see if I'm right or I'm right because there are no other options okay so gently opening it aha okay you can see the electronics so again I see the same uh, the same build let's say so we can see the four MOSFET we can see the lithium polymer by the way the lithium polymer is written 5300 milliamps so I was right about the capacity uh, the MOSFET I'm curious about the MOSFET uh, MOSFET number and current out I guess about a uh, 100 amps so it's 4 and 0 4 4 and 0 4 or 8 so let's let's check what is 4 and 0 4 R8 MOSFET Okay, so I was right about the MOSFETs. 4 N04 uh, MOSFETs are uh, at least what I see is 180 amps. Probably this is the continuous current. Uh, okay, you need, need to search for a data sheet for N04 MOSFET data sheet okay so 4 and 0 4 let's see what it is 4 and 0 4 uh, and there is a R8 I don't know the meaning of the R8 but this is N channel MOSFET and uh, this is N channel uh, by the way it is a uh, probably Chinese a kind and what I'm looking okay okay so continuous current about uh, this one what I see is 155 amps and the pulse current is 540 amps so we have four in parallel so we have 2000 amps theoretically of energy that it can transfer okay uh, by the way the RDS on meaning the, the resistance when it is doing a short it's 4 milli ohms and we have 4 in parallel so we have 1 milli ohms so this is incredibly good uh, by the way here you can see that uh, the wires are without connector they are solder this is an advantage and disadvantage. Disadvantage is it's not very portable. You can't remove the connectors out. But if the soldering and the soldering looks pretty well, they done a good job. But again, I am missing about any fuse, and this is not a good thing. I would expect 50 amps or maybe 100 amps fuse. In order to disable totally short if something is happening and this is something I didn't find at any of the manufacturing and I don't understand why they don't do a safety feature by the way you can see that if you can see there is a wire that is transferred because the PCB cannot handle this high current so there is additional wires that is connected in order to transfer the high current through the MOSFET to the output 
and there is a buzzer and a microcontroller and nothing else and connector and we have the, the charging port and uh, other than this nothing special so the battery is 5300 milliamps I bet this is ah we have the part number it is even not glued so this is SDLC uh, 11708 uh, 0 we have 19.6 watt hour and probably this is a 20C battery let's maybe try to check the exact model of the battery I'm just curious about the current rating so SDL C11708 zero battery I'm sure it should be 20C at least at least 20C <laughs> so anyway I can't find so I will search different 3.7 volt 19.61 watt hour battery this is the other way uh, to change uh, also the, the current 530 milliampere hour so we'll see the lithium point okay I have something I found few links uh, this is a uh, this is all this is the battery I can't find the current weight but I'm sure that this battery weight is 20c because otherwise it wouldn't work this is why it is, should be like this so this is a 20c battery should be 20c battery ah, the, the number is just a serial number or something like this so nothing other to find about it so this is the battery and let's close everything back and pretty well pretty well made so no complaints about this design also Let's again do a welding test. To make sure that it still works. So again maybe. So now let's activate it. So again. Power long press. Okay, so now we are ready. Let's take higher pulls. This is the highest rate, six pulses. By the way, it's getting a little hot when you are doing a few pulls one after another, but overall 
pretty well also you can see that it is very very strong you see it cut it it cut it in the middle it couldn't open the welding parts so overall again this device is doing its job better than I've expected you also can see the holes in the nickel plate by the way the nickel they claim is a uh, 0.112 millimeters I guess that it can also by the way I can see it it will be able to weld a uh, 0.15 millimeters I'm sure because there is a hole inside so maybe the hole will be a little uh, thinner but it will work okay that's all thank you and bye